a good friends and I'm nice friends. A good friend is somebody I'll tell you things you must know. There's somebody you can trust also. There are the top 15 causes of death, the top 15 reasons Americans die. And a plant-based diet can help prevent nearly all of them, can help treat more than half of them, and in some cases even reverse the progression of disease, including our top three killers. A nice friend is somebody who will tell you things you want to hear. Your good friend tells you what caused the diseases of the wealth. Your nice friends give you good things about your bad habits. There's the pushover vegan. Look at that idea. I love barbecues. All the meat grilling everywhere. No, it's totally great. It's a great time. It's really fun. No, I. They don't want to hurt your ego. This is really emotionally toxic and it doesn't get their point across at all. They don't want to let you feel uncomfortable. Uh, your good friend tells you it is the animal product, it is the fat that makes you obese. Slim. Well, obesity is so rare among those eating plant-based diets, nutrition researchers have been desperate to try to uncover the secret. Yes, they eat fewer calories, right? but not that many fewer. My friend tells you what everybody else say, it is the sugar that makes you fat. It is the breads that make you fat. And they're not going to win a fight with you. Not physical fight, but maybe also physical. And if you are the unkind of guy, it's only reason to that. So, it's more on words, battle, and debate. The link between meat and weight gain remained even after controlling for calories, meaning you have two people eating the same number of calories, the one eating more meat may gain more weight. They even calculated how much more. Intake of 250 grams of meat a day, which is nothing for uh, compared to what uh, the U.S. Um, eats, will lead to an annual weight gain of 422 grams, higher than the weight gain experience with the same calorie diet with lower meat content. After five years, the uh, weight gain would be about five pounds more. So same calories, yet five pounds heavier eating meat. And steak was nothing. The strongest relationship between annual weight gain was observed for poultry. A good friend tells you things you need to hear. A um, nice friend tells you things you want to hear. There are are the difference. Want you to have somebody who is always honest to you, is direct to you, show you shows you how there are, well, or want you to have some to have somebody in your life that is a friend of you that that you feel good. Somebody who don't cross your lines. No. Sometimes you have a nice and good friend. But that is sometimes pretty hard. Uh, because you don't can be always nice and always and also a good friend. Because sometimes if you want to be a good friend, you cannot be nice. <laughs> if you understand what I mean. There's no there's no nice way that I have to say that the food your friends eat causes suffering to animals. And that it is offensive. There's no if you live in a society where it's legal to rape. And your friend does that. There's no uh, nice way to talk about that shit in an unbelievable manner. <laughs>
or I won't say in matter. If you understand what I mean. Well. The animals don't want to be your food. It's like women don't want to be the victim of a rapist. At least not the majority. And children in general don't want to be a victim of a pedophile. And if there are ones, I think there are mentally ill. And need to psychic and psychologists. All animals on this planet live for their own reasons. There are not more for a woman there are for men. Or homosexuals there are to be left out by a uh, Trust. Uh, there are also not more on this planet than uh, blacks there are to be slaves from whites or whatever, thing like that. All living beings exist for their own reason, even if we are not 100% always understand which that reason is. All animals are persons. The latter is true that men have more power of this course, but the greater part of that is vain and false, and better is some small truthful one than a great falsehood. It's in true. Well, animals are persons. Only some are legal persons. How call themselves humans. But we must not forget that under the law of apartheid, blacks were not seen. Full humans. Just like in America and <laughs> in Australia, most of the time blacks were seen like cattle. Chattel, that's how they're called. Chattel and cattle both come from the Latin word capitala, which means property, livestock, stock. Resources. And or they were placed under the Flora and Fauna Act and labeled like monkeys. Does this uh, remember you of the Later, uh, of the letters and the documents made up by slave masters to proclaim that only whites can be legally persons and that only whites have the right to vote, that only whites are rational and deserve the right to have land in their hands. To have property. <laughs> Indeed, when the constitution in America was first ignored, only white European land owning, slave holding mill were protected on the law. Whites, how are poor? Cold crackers, blacks, women, and many others were excluded from this. If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, make fun of their entire existence, living more stupid and dirty, like hormones like Hitler, and many 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 more have done to their specific victims. But when you are a victim, now my friends, 
things look a little different from that angle. Stop claiming that you have a right to the bodies of these animals, the pigs, the turkeys, the chickens, just because there is no law against it. How can you ask for something you are not willing to give? It is inconsistent. Maybe when you are suffering on your deathbed and asking for mercy, let the words of Matthew Scully Dominion ring in your ear. How does it feel to be treated like nothing? Like your life don't matter at all. Like you are despisable and replaceable, dirty and filthy. Maybe now you will feel feel to be treated like nothing. Or if you are captured by some ISIS group, maybe you feel to be treated like nothing. I really don't care about people I choose violence. Choose to consume animal body parts. Because a contrary popular opinion, and I stretch the word opinion, what happened in slaughterhouses is 100% violent, unnecessarily, and therefore comes from malice, and cruel. The animals are not willing to participate. End of story. If you claim that you are against violence, you must be vegan. Indeed, I am judging.